The seaport of Murmansk is the largest city inside the Arctic Circle, a city awarded a golden star of heroism by Stalin for its role in the fight against the Nazis in the Great Patriotic War. Allied convoys had to run a gauntlet of attacks by German U-boats and planes to deliver supplies here to keep the Soviet Union fighting on the Eastern Front. Its naval base is of equal strategic importance for modern-day Russia. The Kremlin will have spent nearly 700 billion US dollars by the end of this decade modernizing the country's defenses. President Putin is determined to extend the strategic power of Russia and he's spending the money to prove it. In the Victory Day parade in Moscow's Red Square, the Russian leader's message was clearly aimed at the conservative core of the vote that returned him to power in the Kremlin for a third term as president. We'll do everything, everything, in order that no one ever dare unleash war again. They will not threaten our children, our home, our land. The first of a new generation of nuclear submarines was launched earlier this year as part of the most expensive military project in Russia's post-Soviet history. President Putin has said modernization of the Navy is one of his country's most important priorities as a guarantor of global balance and security. Russia's latest submarine has an arsenal of 16 Bulava-class intercontinental ballistic nuclear missiles. A hawkish member of Russia's cabinet wrote on Twitter, You bourgeoisie tremble. You are screwed. It might have been a crude imitation of the language of the Cold War, but a Cold War of a different nature is now certainly approaching. Russia has already planted its flag under the polar ice cap. Moscow says samples from the seabed there prove it's part of their country's continental shelf. That would mean they could lay claim to another 1.2 million square kilometers of territory. Russia's navy in the White Sea is ready and waiting for the Arctic gold rush. It's believed there are vast reserves of oil, gas and minerals there waiting to be tapped. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Murmansk.